All right, what's up? We're back here with the OG, man. One thing, he was telling me a story about where he was caught up in an indictment from the DA agents who tried to they plan. Call, yeah, if you want to go into it, go ahead. They called us the organization. That was in 86 in Los Angeles County. And they round up an indictment on us, 26 of us, throughout the United States. But the DEA agents is the one that arranged all this for us to get supplies from them. And we did for at least two, two years. Hmm. I got it from Wayne Countryman, John Jackson, and Garcia. They DA agents. And we worked with them for two years. I didn't know they, they was agents. I didn't. Yeah. I wasn't messed with them. I wasn't, but they seemed like they was on the up and up. And they always was alone. They always would be solo. All three of them be solo when they used to meet me. I used to meet them at the old Tony a uh, restaurant, hotel, downtown Los Angeles on 1st Street. And uh, they, used to get, they used to bring me all kind of drugs. Yeah, well, you know, all kind. I ain't talking about no little bit. I'm talking about hundreds of pounds of it, tons of it, mm. a thousand keys. So... I mean, we did this for a while. And then what ended up happening? What happened on the day they Well, they, they, they would, they, my crime partners had too many 187s. Oh, too many and, murders. And yeah, and then the other investigators, homicide from the deep, from the federal agent, they was working with Pasadena police. So they got up, they started sweating us. They got up on us. So they finally, uh, and diamonds came down all on 26 of us. Damn, that's a huge organization, though. Yeah. yeah. They yeah. were making arrests on the West Coast, uh, New York, and Michigan, Detroit, and Chicago. Dang. And all of us got arrested around the same time. And it would end up breaking the case to where... They brought all of us together down in Terminal Island to, to go to court. And just happened that we were going to court with uh, the DA agent that got that got, got killed in uh, Mexico. Commissia. Oh, see, I never heard of that. Yeah, DA agents. So we, we was tied, we was housed with them. Mm -hmm. We was housed with them in the in TI. And, uh, and we finally got the, the written statements for why we we got arrested and was for the RICO Act for selling drugs throughout the United States. Mm. And, it's a, and, the, and the agents that was involved with us in, on the uh, investigation, they the one was supplying us. They were supplying us from heroin, cocaine, you yeah. name it. And that ended up breaking the case where you get get a reduction in your in your time or you right. Say? That's the time that I fought the case for two years, and then all of a sudden, my attorney came again and telling me that you're gonna get a good break now. I said, "Why is that?" Because we had nine witnesses against us, uh -huh. but eight of them came up missing. So he so we said, well, what, what's happening with the case? He said, well, the the DA agents, they, uh, indictments getting ready to come down on them. I said, well, who the agents? He told me who it was. The black guy that been dealing, you been dealing with, that's Jackson. The white guy, countryman Wayne, countryman, and Gar the Mexican Garcia, all of them got indictments coming down. They getting ready to go to court. In a couple of days, so they offer you they offer you a deal right now. Take a deal. I said, "What the deal?" He said, "You gonna get more time than the rest of the other nine that other eight that's involved with you." 
And I said, well, one of the ace, he got a murder case. He got two murder cases out on bail on now in Pasadena. That's in, the, that's in his deal, too. They already know. They're going to give him three, three, three. I said, three years? Well, what they going to give me? They're going to give you six years. Damn. <laughs> and I said, I'm the one that got the most. He said, yeah, your, your father's going to get probation. Oh, they caught your father in it too? Yeah, my father was trying to do something on the sideline without me knowing about it. Oh, my. Oh, man. And then, so where you end up getting sentenced? To? I got sentenced. I went back down where I was at, San Diego. And then they sent me to back where, they, where the fed, fed picked me up at. They picked me up on the, on the rec yard in, the, in San Diego. Mm. So they took me back to the rec, rec yard in San Diego to the to the to John, uh, uh, Donovan facility in San Diego, mm -hmm. took me back there and to, to, to check out from the state to take me back to Terminal Island. That's what they did. Like Long Beach, right? And yeah. they were Terminal Island? Terminal Island, Wimbledon, Long Beach, yeah. Right. Dang. And then, so you, you was telling me this story about the Hector guy. How did that come about? Okay, well, Hector. We were doing business with Hector. Oh, his name, Hector Tap Tapia, Tapia uh, Aki Akondo, and okay. Kondo, for those who want to look up his, his uh, court case. Yeah, yeah. That, when they arrested Hector, but this was the time I was getting out, getting ready to come home, mm -hmm. and Hector get busted. But Hector's, we Hector, do, but Hector we, one of your we, good friends. Oh, yeah, but he was my good friend. He was my good friend. And uh, I used to meet him all the time in San Bernardino and F Fernan San Fernando Valley, Selmore. Right. So uh, when I came, when I got out, Hector was just getting busted. And so I got word to Hector in, uh, in Terminal Island, because I know people in there was in Terminal Island when I was there. And, uh, and Hector told me, how he got arrested by his brother-in-law. And I said, well, did you get, did you in bad shape? He said, yeah, I'm in bad shape. It's the largest that they ever seized in United States history. And how much was that? That's 22 tons. Man, and they say that in the article, but I was gonna look it up. Damn, yeah. so he bringing it on a boat or something? No, he had, he had to got a trucking business. Oh. He got rigs. Oh man. He had around about fifty rigs, so what this dude tell on him for? He got caught I up in something. I don't know. He probably got caught up in something. That's his son in law. Dang. Ain't that some yeah. his own his daughter's yeah. husband. Yeah. Wow. And whatever happened to the, the son in law? Somebody else? I don't him? know. I don't I really don't know. He probably escaped the planet. <laughs> yeah, he probably on the protective custody, you know that. Exactly. You're probably out the country. Like, wow. like the Colombian dude told on us. Wow. He, he sent him out the country. He couldn't do no fair time. He had to do it in uh, uh, not Costa Rica, but Panama City. Yeah. So, yeah, they, uh, they got Hector laid on, but they got us. And two of my crime partners that fought well, the other eight of them that fought the case, we, we, we kept on having postponement because we kept on postponing our cases. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason why we didn't get sentenced when they got sentenced. They got sentenced a couple of years, a year before we did, and they got 400 years, 200 years, life without, two life without. Wow. So they still sitting in there. Oh, they going to do it till they deceased. This, this is back from 80, what was you saying? 86. 86. 86. Mm -hmm. Man. Called the organization. Called the organization. I, I, I click with the organization. Wow, man. So then we got the OG back with another great story, man. He got some stories, man. But that's all I got, folks. Damn.